Hi, I'm Karen Greider from Scandinavian Today. I'm going to make some Swedish meatballs. They're wonderful all year round, but of course at Christmas time, I really like to have some of those. And uh, they're great for company. So here in front of me, I have all the ingredients and I'm going to mix it now. I have half a pound of pork and I have half a pound of beef. And I'm going to add one egg to that. All right. And then I have a, about a cup of cream. I'll pour some of it in and see how much I want to use. I might not use all of it, but also I have half a cup of breadcrumbs. I have two tablespoons of minced onions. I have half a teaspoon of salt. And also, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of pepper. And of course, if you like more, it's up to you, but this is about right for me. Then I'm going to grind a nutmeg in there. Probably about a quarter of a teaspoon, that would be fine. Okay. And then I also ha have some thyme, and I'm going to use about a quarter of a teaspoon of the thyme. Just, it's a nice spice as well. And now I can start mixing it. All right, so I have used about half of the cream. I only put a little bit more than half a cup of cream into it. I think that's moist enough. I don't like it to be too moist. Then it's harder to shape it. Actually, here next to me, I have a bowl with hot water. And uh, I've already heated up my frying pan. So, I should be able to make the meatballs now. And I like to shape them with a little teaspoon. I dip the spoon in hot water first and then I can shape them easily in my hand. And then again, it, you decide how big you want yours, but this is about the right size, I think. Okay. So you can see how I shape them in my hand. Just takes a little practice. Of course, if you don't like to put in your hand, you can also just use the spoon. Like that, that will work as well. And you might want to cook a few and taste them before you make the whole batch. I can turn a couple of them now, they're nice and brown on one side, just the way it should be. There we go. Come on now. Yeah. It's a nice uh, thing to have when you have company as an appetizer or of course you can make a thin out of it. So now some of the meatballs are done. And uh, see they're nice and brown on each side. Of course they're hot too. I remember the first time I tasted Swedish meatballs. As a child, I went on vacation to Sweden in Skåne. My girlfriend's mother was from Sweden, so we were invited to spend a week in Skåne on a big farm. And I remember so clearly that they served us those small Swedish meatballs. Uh, I was used to the Danish frigadella, so they're similar, but not quite the same. And of course, if you want to make them ahead of time for a special event, you can do that easily the day before and then just heat them up in a microwave. Uh, and 
know, of course, they freeze easily. So it's really easy food. Have to do the rest of them. Seems like it's going pretty good. And they smell good. Oh, maybe I should take a bite on them. Mm hmm. Just right. I like it. Very good. Excellent. Okay, so all the meatballs are finished. And I'm going to make a little gravy out of the meat juices. So here next to me, I have some cornstarch and I'm going to put a little water in it. I actually have a beef bouillon cube too. I'm putting that in the hot, in warm water because I want to have a little bit more flavor in my gravy. So I dissolve that in the water and pour it on the pan. Now, here I have two teaspoons of cornstarch dissolved in water. Now add that to the, to the pan. I'm going to stir it so it doesn't get lumpy. Actually, I like to add a little, uh, little sugar and also a little pepper to my gravy. So here is a pinch of sugar. And I'll grind a little bit of pepper in it. So here we have a nice plate with Swedish meatballs and lingonberry uh, jam or lingonberries here in the center. And we are going to stick some Swedish flax in the meatballs. Makes it look really festive and of course the meatballs are delicious. And I should tell you, if you don't like to fry the meatballs on the frying pan, you can just as well bake them in the oven probably easier for you so anyway enjoy happy new year to you well my dog Harry he can smell that I am baking meatballs and he loves the meat so of course I have to give him a meatball he loves eating meat and once in a while he has to get a treat here you are Harry you like it oh enjoy it yes okay that's it no more no more harry that's all